Okay guys, so I literally just had the worst customer service experience in my life. Like obviously this is literally like 20 minutes after my last video that I just posted. Um, and I am so pissed, but like I feel so helpless because no matter what, I can't do anything. Me, as one person, cannot change anything as how these representatives um, for Walgreens treat people I follow the rules I never try to get over on them like I use the coupons as they're supposed to be used and everything like that so basically what it came down to I was trying to place an order online to do get four old spice deodorants right so there's that ten dollar off of four digital that came out last Sunday you know it was um, a pretty high value one so I was trying to use that one on my four old spice take ten dollars off but my account has always had the problem where I go to check out and my coupons don't apply so I I didn't want to do anything wrong so I did that like online chat and whatever and I was like hey I'm trying to purchase this but the coupons not applying like how should I go about this and then the representative on the chat was like, well, you can just go ahead and call this number. Um, we've had problems with that coupon this whole week. So call the number, tell them what you want. They'll take your order down. Like they'll process everything for you. Basically like I'm doing an on the phone order and then she'll, she or he will modify the price of your items as if the coupon was deducting. I was like, oh yeah, that's no problem at all. So I called the number she gave me and I was like, hey, this is what's going on. They told me to call you, blah, blah, blah. She's like, this was um, a female representative. She's like, oh yeah, we've been having problems with this coupon all week. Again, she said the same thing. Um, she's like, just go ahead and purchase the items. And then once you purchase, call us back um, or you can message us on the chat and we'll just give you 10,000 in points, which is equivalent to the $10. I was like, yeah, that's fine. That's no problem, right? Because I'm going to use points anyways. Like I'm not spending any more out of pocket than like it didn't matter to me, right? So I go online, I do my order, ship to store, blah, blah, blah. And then I instant message them. It's just easier for me to do message. And the guy who replied was like, I don't see the coupon clipped. And I was like, well, I'm looking at it right now. Like, I know how to work my phone. I know how to work the Walgreens app. I was like, I'm looking at it clipped. And he was like, well, we only go by what we can see. Um, but as a courtesy, I'll do that for you. And I felt a little bit of like, saltiness in that message I don't like when people do that because like what am I supposed to do as a customer like I'm looking at my phone at the moment and it's there but you're telling me and it's not I don't want to do anything that's wrong so like don't do something as a courtesy if that's not what you're supposed to do right so I was like okay things like even if he would have been like if you go to the store and show them the coupon that's there they'll be able to like I, I get it I completely understand and then I was like okay whatever that's fine I didn't say whatever I was like okay thank you and then um he takes a second comes back and replies and he was like well actually it looks like we have added this is, are literally the words that he said it looks like we have added way too many points on your account, so I'm not gonna be able to do so at the time, and I'm gonna escalate this to so-and-so. So he's creating a ticket because my account has had too many um, adjustments on it for points. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir, but the only time I call to tell you guys that my points aren't there are when a digital does not apply, which happens how many times do we know as couponers? When a register reward doesn't print, how many times does that happen as we know as couponers? And I sometimes I just rather get the points instead of calling Catalina and getting the register reward back. It depends which one it is, but like sometimes it's just easier to, hey, give me 2,000, 3,000 points for the Catalina that didn't print. It's not like then I go to Catalina and be like, hey, well, give me this too. Like I don't double it up. I just give me one or the other. It's, it's not my fault that walgreens catalina machine does not work properly like it's advertised it's not my fault that the walgreens app does not correctly apply the coupon sometimes and obviously every single time that i call i tell them like hey this is a problem and they give me the points because they see the problem it's not like i'm like 
hey, you had really bad customer service today. Can you give me 10,000 points? Like, no, it's nothing like that. It's a legit, like, your guys' system is not working. How can I, how can we remedy this? And they give me the points. Okay. The last time I have had points added was, like, April 6th. And he goes to say, I asked him, I was like, too many points what like what do you consider too many points and he says well after every almost every single transaction that you do you call us to get an adjustment out and that's when i'm like okay hold up because i do a week besides this week probably like 10 to 20 transactions a week and i haven't had one adjustment in the past month and, and you want to come at me like that and literally he started like attacking me and then he started saying um what else did he say oh then he started naming out the times that I have had adjustments and I was like yeah and if you look back at all the times that I have called or I am or whatever there's a reason for it it's not just me complaining for no reason and then I was like okay so you sent this escalate escalation ticket when am I gonna hear back and he's like, within like 48 hours. We are now, um, let's see, like 30 hours past. I haven't heard anything, so hopefully I hear something today. I need to hear something back by tomorrow because tomorrow the, the coupon is going to go away and then, like, I'm out. But regardless, like, I don't feel like a customer service person should ever attack a customer like that, you know? When there has been no confirmation of any foul play or anything like that, I understand sometimes there may be suspicions, but you you, you address it differently. Like, hey, at the time, I'm not going to be able to add your points. Um, for whatever reason, don't sit here and, and attack me and act like I'm being some sort of like fraudulent person. That's, you don't treat people like that, no matter what. And especially because you have no proof or anything. And I know for a fact, I never do anything just to get over on anyone. Like, I, I don't care. It is not that serious. And especially sometimes these coupons are like a dollar or two dollars. Like, I have not called customer service when a coupon didn't apply so many times just because I was like, okay, it's not really worth it. Like it's a dollar loss. And in couponing, I have learned that you take losses sometimes. So I was very upset <laughs> and I just feel like that's very disrespectful. And also the fact, I think that there should definitely be better ways that customer service is able to address situations like this because I totally understand that sometimes there is fraudulent activity and people just call to get money um, for whatever reason. Um, so I think they need a better way of kind of noting the accounts and what's going on and, and stuff like that. So situations like mine it don't happen because it's not a good feeling to be accused like that. And um, yeah, like I, I really don't think it's fair. And I also feel helpless because I mean, I did the review of the um, the service. I don't know how much different that's gonna make. Like literally I give them all zeros. Like everything from the transaction, from the, be I'm sorry, from the communication from the beginning. It, I didn't like it. I didn't like how anything happened in that conversation. Um, I'm obviously, if I just stopped shopping at Walgreens, it wouldn't make a difference to them. So it doesn't really matter. Like, no matter what I do, it's not going to matter. And to me, like, literally, I'm just upset about it right now because it just happened in a couple of days. I'll be over it and be like, that was still disrespectful, but I'm going to keep going because I'm still saving money at the end of the day. And that's that's all that I want to do. I want to show you guys how to save money. Um, and sometimes we do have to deal with people that are disrespectful. I have not come across someone really disrespectful in person. Um, I, I really don't know what I would say, but I know from, ex um, from hearing other people's experiences that, of course, someone one day is going to be disrespectful to you. Um, and I think really think that all we can do is write those reviews as well as when people are super kind. Don't forget, to, I know sometimes 
I forget. So try not to forget to to write those reviews for the really good cashiers, for the ones that help you out, for the ones that root for you. Because I have a lot of them that when I go into the stores, they're like, oh my God, you saved so much. Congratulations. Like, how did you do that? There are some really good people out there, but just be prepared for the time that we get that one person that doesn't like you because couponing they get annoyed it, it's annoying to them but they don't realize how much money we save and then how much um we really put forward towards our family to be able to either save that money or apply that money somewhere else we can't coupon you know what I mean so we get a lot from it and um I appreciate you guys for listening um that was a really long rant. <laughs> All right, guys, that was that was it. That was I don't know if I'm being dramatic. I didn't like the way I was treated. I didn't like being accused. But I'll see you guys next time.